safety in advance to try and deter demonstrations. Well, Margot Tigas is in Kuala Lumpur with more. Turning out exactly as expected, violent clashes erupted in clusters across Kuala Lumpur as tens of thousands took to the streets to demonstrate. Some, or majority indeed, standing against the government, calling for electoral reform and more transparency in governance. And the others were pro-government supporters to try to counter the anti-government group that was meeting in the center of the city and were trying to make their way to Merdeka Stadium, which was the site that Malaysia first declared independence in 19. 1957. Police had declared any gatherings in the capital city today as illegal, and yet these demonstrators came out anyway. So the police saying really that they're only doing their job. Tear gas was used, as well as water cannons, and indeed uh, in many areas as well, uh, battles broke out physically between the police and the demonstrators. As of now, more than 600 people have been detained by police for questioning, including leaders of those three different groups that were organizing the streets demonstrations today and opposition politicians. Now, relations between the United States and Syria are coming under increasing strain. The U.S. State Department has summoned the